Well, I guess with this new setup, I can't really rely on my cat for content anymore. I don't know what I'm gonna do, actually. Hey girl. So I actually got this question a couple months ago and I just have now gotten around to answering it. So please don't hate me for whoever asked this. I'm not gonna expose your name obviously, but I'm just going to put on my reading glasses real quick temporarily and then answer this question. So like any question that I address, I always like to put it up on the screen so you can read it as well. But the question says, do demons feel perceive as we do. Can I act in my own defiance way, a defiance that is natural but not defiant to anything per se, just defiance clothes on it but love inside. So basically they're asking like should they put more thought in or worry about their natural state of being, being offensive even if their intent isn't offensive. And going further into it, without a worry that a demon might misunderstand me, how much care as respect I have feel and give should I have with my non-thinkable instinctual response? So basically with this question, with what they are asking, they're asking if basically if they should put stress on certain behaviors that they exude uh, out of fear that it might come off as disrespectful to the demon or, and I'm going to general and like make this a more blanket statement just because that's how my belief system is. Um, I don't change up how I interact with a being, whether they be a demon or whether they are an archangel, whether they're just anything, whatever it is. I interact with every single individual, whether they are a physical being in this three dimensional realm or not, I interact with every being the same way. I thoroughly believe from my own personal opinion that it's more so the intent that matters. Now I'm going to go into a little bit more of a controversial opinion that might step on some toes as per usual with my videos in that I thoroughly, well, you'll find in a lot of writings when it comes to demons or when it comes to archangels or any being that there usually is like a guideline people will follow. And that guideline is in usually inspired by some individual's writings on how they went about working with this being. Does that make it wrong? No, that's just, you know, it works for this person. So they would rather go with the avenue that worked for this individual and continue that method, continue that pattern. But I don't think that is necessarily the one and only true way. When you think about this, you know, this goes off further than how I interact with beings and just my belief system in general. You know, when it comes to like the Bible or any belief system, I don't, I find it kind of weird when people put these belief systems or these books on a pedestal over their own belief system because these books, these belief systems are based off of one person or a collective of people's transla translation of energy when it comes to this, right? So really, they're no different than you are. <laughs> they just put their work out there compared to you where you it's just your own personal experience. So I'm never going to be the person that puts someone's else's, someone else's work at a higher tier, at a higher pedestal than my own experiences. Now, does that mean I don't reference people's writings, reference people's experiences? Absolutely not. I always will reference people and look to other people's experiences to get an idea of what I can potentially expect, but I'm never going to treat anyone as the true word because you, when it comes to spirituality, it's a personal thing. The moment someone tries to tell you how to interact with a being or how to go about your belief system, that right there is like the number one red flag of getting out of that because that is like a cult mentality. I'm just gonna be blunt here. You know, I, I just don't have the patience for anyone that tries to tell any person how to handle interacting with a being that you can't see, you can't touch. And so it's like, who do you think you are or anyone, who do, does anyone think they are to tell you how to connect with a being or to tell you what is best? You can only speak of your experiences and what got you the best results, but just because you got those results does not mean that it's going to be the true way or the only way to connect with this being. This goes into the deeper meaning of this. You know, when it comes to, when I interact with, anyone, whether it is a three-dimensional person, whether it's another human, or whether it's an angel or a demon, I interact, I treat everyone the same way. I'm not the kind of person that will worship someone. I don't believe in the concept of worshiping. I like to look and connect with anybody on the same playing field. It doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter if you're a deity of this standing, or it doesn't matter if you are like the plumber over here. Like I'm going to speak to you in the same exact way because it's all just titles. It's all just ranking 
things where just I connect with people from a very just basic manner of like, if you're good to me, then I'm going to be good to you. If, if I enjoy your energy, then I'm going to just chill with you. I'm not going to add on the extra details of why I feel like you should be mo treated more important than I am because I think I'm pretty freaking important so what makes you any different? <laughs> when it comes to connecting with people I always look at the intention behind people's actions and that's just I kind of perceive beings to be the same way. If your intentions is truly from an, a kind place, if your intentions are truly respectful, coming from a place of love, if they don't, if the being themselves do not, does not like it, they're going to tell you something. They're going to let it be known. At least for me, my experiences, I've not experienced a time where I'm connecting with a being with my intentions being good and having to be corrected on it. I've never experienced a time where a being has made my life worse or made me miserable or has tried to correct my behavior after connecting with them when I've had nothing but respectful intentions behind it. Beings are, you know, you think about it like this. These are enlightened beings that we're talking about here. You know, we're talking about demons. We're talking about goatic demons. We're talking about archangels. We're talking about these beings who are not in this three-dimensional realm having human emotions. They are eleva elevated most of the time, right? Dep most of the time, depending on who we're speaking of, what kind of being we're talking about, right? And so if you can't connect with a being without fear of them misinterpreting what it is that you're doing and worrying about them ruining your life, I would pose the question of why it is that you even want to connect with them in the first place. I'll use the Goetic demons as an example. I know a lot of people will have specific ways that they will go about connecting with specific Goetic demons because of their likes and dislikes. You definitely can take heed to that. I feel like it's very important to reference other people's experiences and to really see what resonates with you, see what makes sense to you, and to really just gather as much information as you can before you go into any kind of connection but I thoroughly believe in that it's better to just go into it with an open mind and without stressing too much on being offensive as long as you yourself know the actions that you're doing are from pure intent is being respectful because beings are going to see through that everything is energy right and so if you're if your energy is pure, if your energy is coming from a place of positivity and just wanting to connect with them and wanting to be understood, they're not going to receive you in a bad way. And if they do receive you in a negative way, maybe that connection just isn't for you in the first place. So to answer your question when it comes to working with demons and if you should worry about how it is that you do interact with them, while yes, there is a level of where you would handle yourself or maybe change up your behavior, but I feel like this is, whether it's a demon or whether it's someone that you're meeting for the first time, you kind of will change how you will initially address somebody or connect with somebody because you don't have that rapport with them you don't have that energetic rapport with them to be able to make the jokes that you would initially that you would make with somebody that you've known for years you know there's there's levels to it and when it comes to working with demons or archangels or any anything any being you're going to have to invest some time into it to really build off of that connection to build off of the relationship that you have with them but you know for me personally whenever i start connecting with a deity for the first time i go into the ritual I go into the experience initially where I come treat them as if I would treat any potential business deal or any kind of potential relationship that could go deeper because here's the thing I want you to keep this in mind as well if they if I were to give you advice on how to be more respectful you're only going to get the opinion and advice from someone that has only lived in the United States of America and what is perceived as polite and normal to me you know has been all over the, like all over the US like my what I find to be respectful is not going to be does not mean that is the be-all just like if you were to ask this question that is from this question to someone that is from Europe, their opinion and their actions of what is deemed to be respectful and not respectful is going to be entirely different. And so, again, this is really where the intention starts to matter the most, especially when you start working with these otherworldly beings because that is when energy starts mattering more and more. That is when the intent starts mattering more and more when you start working with them. And so, really, I can't, like, I'm sorry that I can't really go into too much detail and really, like, educate you on this question too much just because I don't 
any information that I could provide to you on how to act more respectful is going to be coming from a bias of some of a person that has lived in the United States. And that's going to vary. Like, what I find res respectful could be completely offensive to some other country. So, you know, that then begins the argument of what would be perceived as respectful to a demon when a demon is not, or an archangel is not living in the US or living in the UK. So it doesn't really matter. Your What really matters is your the intent behind it, the energy behind your actions and so what I would just suggest to you is just go off the deep end and just really start connecting with them you know as long as you have your proper basics down where you have like your shielding your grounding and your cleansing down you really can't go wrong at least in my opinion I have not experienced a time where I work with a being that just ruins my life I have I mean maybe that's possible I haven't heard of it I I mean I don't know but I feel as if a lot of people worry too much about being respectful or over analyzing their actions based off of other people trying to gatekeep certain things <laughs> you know when it comes to what i have found in the spiritual community there's so much gatekeeping that goes on that it's just i don't i mean that's a completely different video that i'm really not trying to get into in this video but yeah i really want to just bring that into awareness and that like anything that you hear it's based off of someone's bias so truly that is just my opinion on it all you know you i really want everyone to remember that any information that is put out there on the internet or any writings in general when it comes to spirituality it's based off of someone's bias and multiple layers of bias and no one can say that they, that they don't have any bias when it comes to their practices because that's just not true like a lot of people especially when they want to be looked up on and viewed as like this grand grandiose person they want to say that they don't have any bias that's just not true like where you or how you are raised where you grew up like you're there's just so many layers that influence what you deem to be respectful the actions that are like viewed as respectful that would be viewed as respectful when it comes to working with archangels when it comes to working with demons is based off of someone's bias as the, how they lived their life and what they like and dislike but just because it's under someone's bias that does not mean that that has no that it has no validity either i feel like it i mean with my own path personally i don't resonate with anyone's personal practices a hundred percent i always get inspired by people's practice i practices i always get influenced by people's practices certain practices but i will never base my belief system or my actions based off of one specific belief system because that's just not realistic i refuse to give up my spiritual my spirituality to feed somebody else's ego in that way i'm just not you know like no other person is any better than i am that's just how that's my opinion on it right but i also don't want you to think that just because someone is coming from speaking from a bias that you shouldn't take heed to it either I feel like it's very important to hear the information that is put out there and again like I do with like I say with a lot of my videos go with what resonates with you the most if this what even with what I say if what I say doesn't make sense and you would rather follow a specific person's path or a specific type of writing and that makes sense to you absolutely go for it why like what is the harm to do with that the only issue that I have when it comes to spirituality is the gatekeeping that goes along with it where some people will say oh you can't can't do this and this and this you can't offer this and that like I just like that's just no that's just ridiculous that is just such a I don't know <laughs> I don't really want to go on a rant on this but yeah to really just sum it up what matters the most is the intent behind it initially and if the being doesn't like what it is that you're doing they're going to let it be known to you you don't need to worry about some like my perspective you don't need to worry about this other person on the internet's opinion on it and what they deem to be respectful or not because that doesn't matter you're not connecting with me you're not connecting with billy joe over here and trying to work with them and have a deep connection you're trying to work with Lilith, for example, I don't know, whoever, whatever being that it is that you're working with. And you have to again, be willing to pay respect to the titles that these beings have. You know, if Lilith truly didn't like a certain practice or certain things that you were doing, she would make it known to you. But yeah, to make this long tangent short, basically what I'm trying to say is that it doesn't really matter the actions that you do as long as the actions are not harming anybody and, or any living being. I mean, again, this is coming from my own bias again, but the only important aspect when it comes to working with these entities, when it comes to working with these beings, is that the actions that you are doing 
have positive, respectful intent behind it because you can't go wrong with that. As long as you are coming from a place of respect and as long as you're coming from a place of love, if the being themselves do not like a specific action that it is that you're doing or a specific wording that it is that you're doing or whatever specific practices that it is that you're doing, they're going to let it be known. And I feel as if you don't have to worry about being punished for it is because it's like, you know your intentions are pure. You know your intentions are coming from a place of respect and love so they're not going to receive you in a negative way. Think of it this way, when a toddler does something wrong, do you start berating them? Do you start screaming at them? No, you don't because you understand that this toddler is just from their perspective not doing anything wrong so you have patience with them so you explain to them why it is that what it is that they're doing is wrong and then you allow them the opportunity to learn from that and grow from that. You're not going to just ruin this toddler's life just because <laughs> they didn't appease by like your standards. You know, you're more understanding of somebody when they are able to, when they don't know any better, when they're coming from a place of just wanting to love and be loved and you are no different than that. So I think about it in that way. Maybe this will help remedy some of the overthinking you might have when it comes to working with different beings. I find a lot of people stress too much about how it is they come across to certain beings because of the gatekeeping vocabulary and the community that we have when it comes to the spiritual community. And so many people will gatekeep connecting with certain beings based off of their own bias, which I just don't think is fair. And because of this, people just end up overwhelming themselves and not connecting with them in the first place because they start overthinking on everything that it is that they're doing and they just don't bother connecting because they don't want to offend anything and yeah i don't know there's this again i could go into a completely different video a completely different rant on this and i may actually do it now that i'm thinking about it now but but yeah i hope that answers your question friend and i hope this video is, provides some clarity to not only you but some of my other friends here that are watching this video so if you do have any other questions please let me know in the comments below i promise you i don't always wait two months before i respond to a question i'm trying to get better at it i'm trying i'm trying be patient with me you guys <laughs> But I love you guys so much, and if you haven't heard it today, I see you, I hear you, and I love you so much. Bye, guys.